Hello friends, uh, let us see how to draw circle of wheels. So these two are the vertebral arteries which unite and form the basilar artery which lies on the basilar sulcus of the pons. So uh, this is the basilar artery. This basilar artery terminate or divide as a two posterior cerebral artery. So here we can see this is the posterior cerebral artery. Now uh, here uh, we can see internal carotid artery and uh, it uh, divides into two branches. It terminate as uh, one branch is anterior cerebral artery. So this one is anterior cerebral artery. And uh, another larger branch or its continuation is middle cerebral artery. So this is the middle cerebral artery. Now uh, we can see the anterior communicating artery communicates anterior cerebral artery. And uh, the posterior communicating artery communicate internal carotid artery with the posterior cerebral artery. So this is how hexagonal uh, circle of will is formed. It is six sided polygon of the arteries and formed by anteriorly by the anterior communicating artery, anterior cerebral artery, posteriorly by the posterior cerebral artery, literally by the posterior uh, communicating arteries. It also uh, laterally formed by the internal carotid artery and its branches. Now let us see branches of the uh, each arteries one by one. So here let us see first of all the branches of vertebral arteries. So this is the anterior spinal artery which unite and form the median trunk and it runs along the median fissure, anterior median fissure of the spinal cord. Uh, next uh, uh, we can see this one is the posterior inferior cerebral artery. So here we can see posterior inferior cerebral artery, cerebellar artery. And uh, this one is posterior spinal artery. Sometimes it may arise from the vertebral artery, sometimes from the posterior inferior cerebral artery. The next branch is the meningeal branches which supply meninges of the brain. And here we can see the medullary branches which supply the medulla oblongata. So these are the branches of the vertebral artery. Now let us see branches of basilar artery. So it terminate as a posterior cerebral artery. We already seen that. So this is the posterior cerebral artery, terminal branch of basilar artery. Uh, just next to it, we can see superior cerebellar artery. So this is the superior cerebellar artery. Then we can see uh, four to five small branches, pontine arteries, supply with pontine mental surface. Uh, then we can see uh, anterior inferior cerebellar artery. This is the anterior inferior cerebellar artery. And uh, in between two we can see a labyrinthine artery. So this is the labyrinthine artery. So these are branches of basilar artery. Here we can see anterior cerebral artery. We already discussed middle cerebral artery. This one. We can also see the posterior communicating artery, branch of internal carotid artery and anterior communicating artery which communicate anterior cerebral artery. Now uh, let us see the central branches. So these are the uh, anterior median group of the central branches. They arise from the anterior cerebral as well as anterior communicating artery. These are the posterior, posterior median group from the posterior communicating and posterior cerebral artery. Uh, these are the anterolateral groups of central branches and uh, they are arising from the middle cerebral and uh, this is the posterolateral group arises from the posterior cerebral artery. These are the central branches. Uh, now let us see uh, the choroidal branch. Here we can see this one is the anterior choroidal artery from the internal carotid artery and uh, this one is the posterior choroidal artery from posterior cerebral artery. These are two choroidal branch and uh, this one is the recurrent artery of Hubner from the anterior cerebral artery. And one more branch is remaining from the internal carotid artery is 
uh, the ophthalmic artery here we can see the small branch from the internal carotid artery this is the ophthalmic artery so this is about circle of police hope you like it please like share and subscribe my channel thank you